Hey everyone, it's Kristen Fagan and Sarah Ayler here with Softlex Company. We will be live in just two minutes. Hold on just a moment and we can't wait to see you. Kristen, are you ready to get this party started? I'm ready. Let's do it. Ooh. We are so excited to be here at the Great Feet Extravaganza. Welcome, everybody. All of the presenters are going live just a few minutes early to give you a chance to get yourself situated, implanted, and ready to go. So we are we are not the only ones. We are streaming to four different places today. So I hope your stream is lively <laughs> with a good <laughs> chat. But you can find us on YouTube for Softlex, YouTube for the Great Beat Extravaganza, the our Softlex Company Facebook page, which is where you can find us all the time and also the Great Beat Extravaganza's new Facebook page, and then it has been shared into the group as well. So lots of different locations to find us and stream from, and you may see some comments coming through that you're not seeing in your stream, and that's because it is streaming lots of different places. We are everywhere right now. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> oh. Yes, so I would also like to say something. The owners are here today, Mike Sherman and Scott Clark. They started the company 30 years ago. It's like hard to believe. Um, and they are the inventors and founders of Softlix companies. So what a treat to have them in the chat today. I'm not sure which chat stream they're on. So. <laughs> hey, Mike and Scott, I think they might be on Facebook. Um, I don't, don't quote me on that, but I yeah. think they're here on Facebook. So happy to see everyone. We've got so many people watching and it was really funny to have that stream up and watch you all come in and comment while we were being quiet because normally I'm just like right in it. So it was great to see everyone coming in, saying hello, wondering why they couldn't hear us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, we've heard there have been up to 500 viewers on some of the programs today. And we are just so blessed to be interconnected into such a great community and have all of you supporting us. So thank you for being here. We have a ton to do today. Yeah, we do. What yeah, do we do. And everybody's head, I think, is starting to explode already because the presentations have been fantastic so far. I just absolutely adore this weekend. And did you see Jill McKay right before us? She always does a bang up job with her design and got such a pretty taste in colors. Um, it's just all been fabulous. It's been so good. Yeah, this morning I was watching Andrew from Allegory Gallery with my kids and my two girls were like, do we still have that air dry clay? And I was like, oh yeah, we have some of that. And Evelyn decided she was going to make her own pendant and beads with the air dry clay. She was very impressed with herself, as I was impressed with her, too. So it's fun to see inspiration right in front of me. 
Inspiring a whole new generation, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. Well, you're not going to get more Tucson than Kristen and I, or more Arizona than Kristen and I. I, I think I, I was I born was in Arizona it. and lived there for over 20 years. And Kristen, I'm going on 23 years. It's 23 years now that I've been here in Arizona. You've lived so. in Arizona longer than anywhere else. And life. right. Yep, I grew up in New York. I was there for the first half, and now I'm here for, been here for longer than that. So it's uh, it's wild. Desert yeah. girl. <laughs> We've got two fantastic bracelet projects for you today. Um, one of them is with the kit that some of you purchased um, that Kristen is going to be using for her design. I'm going to be doing a design in our new Very Perry colors. It's the Pantone color of the year. So we just launched our Very Perry Duo. I'm gonna show that to you now. So let's just get rolling forward. Sound good, Kristen? Sounds great. Let's do it. Before I get going, I was almost late, you guys, because <gasps> I started digging through my jewelry box and I was looking at some of the treasures that I have purchased in Tucson over uh, the years. You know I, before you say anything, I had one of those bracelets. It took me a few years to finally be able to purchase one because it was a little out of my budget at the time. And I promptly dropped it on tile in my house and broke it. No. <laughs> so, I, so the minute I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you still have one. And I love it. <laughs> I've had this for so many years. This is a, a bracelet from Kevin O'Grady. Um, we used to bend with him at the Best Speed Show in Tucson, and you'd often see the ladies all out there trying on their bangle bracelets from him. Um, and then this is a piece I talked yesterday in the group about the roadway show, and the, we had a couple of booths from Afghanistan right across from us. And they would sell rugs and, and clothing and all sorts of things, but they have the most beautiful rings. And um, this is one of the rings that I collected from them. And I haven't worn it in years. I mean, you kind of forget you have some of these special things. It's really uh, beautiful. It's very I striking. I love yeah. it. So I'm very excited to have that on today. Okay, let's get going because I have to give everyone enough time to do their bracelet because we are a two for one. You get two designs uh, in one setting today. We have a brand new, where do I start? Let's start with this. Oh, let's start with the kit. Let's go Good to idea. the kit first. Okay, yeah. so uh, we have a kit that we put together for the Great Beat Extravaganza. And um, unfortunately, this kit sold out. They usually do sell out real quickly. Um, we are gonna try to do more for Spring Fling. We've already put it in our, our budget and plan for the year. So hopefully we'll be able to get a, squeeze a few more out next time around so more people can join us with the kit. But we do have a monthly kit that's always available. And this next one is called Supernova. So you can pick that up on the website today. I open this kit next Wednesday, and then you'll see all of our lovely kit followers opening it and using it in their designs in our Facebook group over the following weeks uh, into the next month. So there will be a lot of inspiration. Also, Abby Berta is gonna be joining us with this kit. We have to make sure we sent Abby a kit. Oh, I was just asked that. I sent an email actually this week. I think it was yesterday asking that. Abby, Sarah and I have the same mind a lot of the time. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, Abby Berta is joining us a week from this coming Wednesday, and she will be making something with this kit. There's a special surprise from Abby inside of the kit that we're excited to share with you. So if you're a big Abby Berta fan, make sure you grab that Supernova design kit and come uh, bead with us. So. This is the design I'm gonna be making. I did one in a Tucson themed uh, version in a beautiful turquoise and a little cacti off of it. Um, but I will be making this in the very, very, very color mix today. And I used some beads that are available on our website, including this beautiful round turquoise bead. We have some of these in several Ooh. sizes. 
um, and you can grab that. It's fun to get one of those super nice beads and then center it and let it really be shown off in your design. The rest of this is carrier beads. We've got some new Chuck Mondells. I've got some just fire polish on the back end and then a little um, melon here on the melon drop on the tip there. So we'll be making it in this colorway in just a few minutes. But let's open this kit first and take a look at what Kristen's going to be using for her design. Kristen's doing macrame today with Softlux beading wire because you can actually knot our wire and it will not lose any strength where it's knotted. It's kind of uh, pretty amazing because it is wire. It's a stainless steel wire that's so flexible that it can be knotted um, and it comes in lots of different colors. So that makes it really fun to use in a design like a macrame approach. So our kits are all very similar in one thing. They come with everything you need. Um, they come with the wire. They come with lots of beads. They come with a finding kit that will uh, almost always have crimps. And sometimes it'll have some charms, a clasp, an ear wire. This particular one, we did some really great Southwest style tear cast. So I think Kristen's using this button in her bracelet. I am. And I think I'll also, I might use one of the Thunderbirds as a charm, or you can save those for a pair of earrings if you want to. I think we have some of the buttons left on our website. Possibly. We do not. We are out. sold out. Yeah. And the Thunderbirds sold out as well. However, we have a bunch of other Southwest inspired charms like the cactus that you saw, um, you saw in my bracelet. And then we also have the Mustang. Um, we have like a sweet little cowboy hat. So you can choose your own charm if you didn't get the kit and do something totally similar um, to what Kristen is making today. Some of these beads are available on the website in a limited quantity. We try to over uh, buy when we're making a kit just in case there's an issue. And um, so some of these you'll be able to find only a few on the website, softlexcompany.com. Here is a beautiful rectangle. We've got a nice little saucer. We've got a beautiful rondelle that Kristen will definitely be using today. And then look at these. Aren't those cool? We felt so like- pretty. Uh, I thought they were really neat. Yeah, yeah. and two fun, a lot of times you see fossils as well as gems and minerals. And so it felt like a really nice fit in a Tucson inspired kit to have kind of a fossil shaped uh, bead in there, but they're made of check glass. We also included the red rondelles and the turquoise elongated uh, melon drops. And, and I'll be using those red discs in the project today as well. Awesome. Um, but we have those same rondelles. I'm going to use them today too in multiple different colors. I broke open the turquoise ones already. So we've got them in a bunch of colors on the website as well as the melons too. We brought those in in a few different colors. I'm going to be using the purple today. And Kristen, um, did, I think you used maybe one for a dangle. Yep, that's what I did. Yep. I love it. It's such a cute little accent. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to put this away so we can get started on my project. And then I'm going to flip it over to Kristen so she can get started on her project. And we're going to get as much done as we can in this short little hour that we have at the Great Beat Extravaganza. But don't worry, if anything doesn't get done, we will help finish it later on our own, right? We sure will. Ooh, also, trio alert, we have a Tucson trio, red jasper, turquoise, and bone color. How pretty is that? So if you're bu out buying all those fun Tucson shaped things from people, I saw a lot of stuff going to Candy Cooper's shop that was Tucson inspired, very Southwest looking. Um, I even saw her use our turquoise today, which was- Oh yeah, I saw that too. That was really nice. 
Yeah, or um, I saw that Heather Powers has some beautiful cactus um, inspired items as well. You can go to our website and get that trio, get some of those little charms and they'll all play really nicely together. Okay, so let's remember how I made this. I made it yesterday. I don't very often make things ahead of time. I'm more of a fly by the seat of your pants kind of person. Um, but I, <laughs> I'm an, I worked ahead to make a sample. So now I have to remember <laughs> what exactly I did. Um, so I'm gonna take, instead of turquoise wire, which is what I used here, I'm going to pick, I think the tanzanite color from the duo. You can get this duo now, as of this week, on our website. It is the Very Perry uh, Duo, uh, based off the Pantone color of the year. And it is 10% off when you buy it in a duo, rather than buying the two 10-foot spools all on their own. So I'm gonna get a pretty nice long length. I wanna be able to double over my macrame board so that I can put the bottom wires into a slot. And, and both Sarah yeah. and I are using the macrame board today. I think we both ended up with macrame board designs. <laughs> yeah, we Which are. is nice. We love this yeah. thing. If you guys don't have one of these, they are really helpful. Even when you're not doing, like I'm doing a macrame knot, but Sarah's doing more of a wrap. And in both cases, it really helps out. It does. Yeah, it just kind of holds everything in place and makes it easy to be able to use it. I'm gonna do a quick time check. Okay, it looks like we're 15 minutes in, so we're doing good. All right, so <laughs> I've got my wire. I think it's about two and a half feet. Um, it's measuring from the tip of my fingers to the middle of my chest, and I'm five feet tall. So I'm gonna guess it's about two and a half feet of wire in that beautiful Softlex Tanzanite color. So this is a stainless steel beading wire. It has 49 strands of stainless steel braided inside it with a nylon coating that is Tanzanite colored. And it's a really, really pretty color. I'm gonna string my clasp to the center of my wires. And then I'm gonna take one of these two by two Softlex crimp tubes and, and string it onto both wires. So you'll have these in your kit and use them with Kristen as well in sterling silver, but they also come in black oxidized and copper. And our crimp tubes are very thick, very strong, very, very durable. So you'll often hear people saying they'll never use any other kind of crimp tube. They're the best crimp tubes ever. Um, those are the things that I get for feedback uh, on these crimp tubes. They're very, very strong and they're made here in the USA. Just like this toggle clasp from TierraCast is also made here in the USA. In fact, it's made in the same county um, as Softlex Company, it's made in Sonoma County. Okay, I've got my crimp tube on. I'm gonna use my magical crimping pliers. It is officially ravioli time. <laughs> and there's a little divot on both sides. And I'm going to center that crimp tube and compress. The first compression should give like a little four corner ravioli. And then I'm gonna center and compress again, and then just go around it, tightening it down. Thanks for joining us from YouTube and from Facebook. I see people are mentioning our crimp tubes are the best. They really are. So I crimped that. Now I'm gonna slide it into my macrame board. You can see this is something I do regularly because there's already like a nice kind of deep notch there. And then I'm gonna take my two wires and come down to the bottom and slide them into place. And that gives me a way to kind of work with it um, without having an issue. I just realized that I didn't attach my soft touch, but I think it'll be okay. I'll just attach it at the top, but I'm doing it just slightly different than I, I normally do. Normally I would have strung my soft touch through the crimp as well, but I'm just gonna attach it right onto the wire and it'll be fine. We, we're, we're good at making things work around here, right? Yeah, 
you know, it's always when stuff like that happens that you get to show how you work through it. And that's um, a really big part of learning too, is how do you yeah. work through when you do something yeah. a little differently than you thought you were gonna do. Right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in underneath my first blue wire and I am going to grab my smallest bead. It's a little rondelle crystal bead. And I'm gonna center it in my soft touch O and O wire. So soft touch O and O is seven strands of stainless steel with a really thin nylon coating. And I'm gonna bring it all the way in. It's very flexible. It is like a metallic thread. Yeah, so Lori is asking, what is Soft Touch? So Soft Touch is one of our beading wire brands. It is actually um, our premium beading wire because it goes through another process in the manufacturing that makes it 50% softer and more supple than our original Soft Flex beading wire. So I'm attaching this by going around that tanzanite wire but when I come out on the other side, I'm gonna go underneath. So it's an over under, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna do it on the other side too. And then I'm gonna pull my wire all the way through. And now I'm gonna do that on the other side. So let me make sure I have the right wire. That's gonna be a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> but we do what we can. So I'm going over and under on this side. And I'm just gonna slightly tug and see it creates kind of like a little bow shape. And then I will just keep just gently bringing it down to slide it into place and connect it on to that wire. So if I was doing it through the crimp, and I will show the crimp version maybe on an Instagram reel. I'll start another one so you guys can see the other way to start it if you want to start it that way. Either way works fine. So don't worry about it. Either way is good. Um, I would just have the wire coming down from the crimp into here if it were the other way. Nicole is asking, is it similar to making a square knot without the bead there? I don't think it's similar. I think it is a different mm -hmm. process. Yeah, I, I don't think so. So I'm going over my left, under my right with my left wire. And then I'm doing the same thing with this one. I'm going over the right. The nice thing about soft touch, it's like kind of like a needle and then under the left. So over, under, over, under, all the way through. And then you just kind of tighten it up and keep going. And when you go, I'm gonna do one more pass to show the carrier bead. Um, this is the biggest one I've done. I usually do these in a smaller way. I had some samples and of course I forgot to bring them to my bead table. Um, so over, grab my bead, over, under. And I think you could go under, over too, if that's more comfortable. It's basically you're just doing the opposite on each side and that's what loops it around the wire. Yeah, trying to hug that, hug those two side wires. So, Under, yeah, yeah. Kathy is asking, how long is the soft touch wire that you are using? Did you I say that at all? I the length, so okay. it's probably about five feet. That's probably way too much. So I'll tell you how much I have left at the end, and I can probably do more official measurements later as well. So see how that just sort of wraps around the thicker wire and loops it into place. Easy peasy, you can use any kind of beads. You can use two hole beads, you can use Tila beads, going over, under, and in. And I'm Such gonna- Such a great, 
Such a great technique. I've seen Sarah do this with lots of different beads and it always looks so good. You can do it so there same. are some videos on our YouTube channel too of these kind of wrap bracelets that you've done. Yeah, Damien might even be able to link some at the very tail end here. And then you just kind of keep snugging down those wires. So I'm gonna flip over to Kristen so she can get started on her project and we'll flip back to me to finish mine off later. Sound good, Chris? Sounds good. Awesome. Damien, please watch the comments because I'm going to keep beating. So I'm not going to see <laughs> gonna if there's see. any questions. <laughs> if you pop them on the screen, I'm sure Kristen will see, see the question. Yeah. All right. So I've got my Tucson Great Beat Extravaganza kit contents here, the ones that I'm going to be working with. And um, I'll be using the soft flex medium diameter green turquoise color, which is oh, just so lovely. We are going to use six and a half feet of this um, 10 foot spool for this project. And that is going to make you a seven inch macrame um, bracelet, just like so. We're going to do two feet, 24 inches for our center wires, and then four and a half feet. 54 inches for our knotting wire. Then I've also got these lovely topaz rondelles that you can pick up some more of these at softlexcompany.com if you missed the kit. We're gonna use 16 of those. I've got the red disc spacers. And again, you can grab some more of these in those lovely colors that Sarah shared with you in the beginning. And I'm using this red color that came with the kit. Um, we're going to use 31 of those. One of the melon beads in the turquoise for a dangle and one of the turbines in the turquoise for the dangle as well. We're going to use the button clasp and probably one of these little charms at the end too. And of course, um, some crimps, the two by two millimeter crimp tubes that came in the kit in the sterling silver. So let me clear this off and get my macrame board going. And wasn't this a cute little card that came in the kit too? So for those of you that like to do collage and stuff, you can hold on to this, open this up and save that sweet card. I just found those on uh, Amazon and I was like, oh, these are so cute. They're perfect. <laughs> Everyone I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the gorgeous button from our friends at Tierra Cast that was included in the kit. We did sell out of these, unfortunately, but we do still have the Starburst button that I used on the demo. So you can grab that one um, Ooh, at Softlex Company so if you want to make that adjustment. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the um, two feet, 24 inch center wires right here. Um, Marlene is hearing both of us at the same time. I don't know. Maybe you have two things going. Do you have two streams open somehow? That's the only way that I know that that would happen. I would close yeah. out of whatever you're using and come back. Don't worry about it, Kristen. Just keep going. We don't have I know. I always like to help. I know you do. <laughs> So you're going to center your button on your two foot strand of turquoise beading wire and then slide down that crimp tube to make the connection. And it's ravioli time. We're going to use our um, magical crimping pliers, place that crimp tube right in the center notch, give it a squeeze. It's going to pinch all four corners just like so. Turn it 90 degrees, place it back into that crimp plier and then I go around a few more times to really cinch it in and that turns your crimp tube into this gorgeous little bead and then we're going to tuck our button into our macrame board. So the soft touch is helpful because it's just so skinny and thin so it's great for bead weaving. You can also use the soft flex in a thicker diameter if you want. Yeah, I've actually done wrap bracelets like that that are similar, and I've used the soft flex in the medium 
um, and the fine. So you can really use any of them. But like Sarah said, when you're using smaller beads, then thinner wire is really quite nice. So I tucked my button in here into my macrame board and just tucked the tails of the wire at the other end to hold it in place. These will be my two center wires. And then I've got 54 inches, four and a half feet of my knotting wire. And we're gonna start by placing this underneath both of your center wires and then find the center of your knotting wire. So you can't see me holding this really long strand up, but what I'm doing is making sure that the center of the long strand of wire is right under those two center wires. And now we're gonna do um, a square knot. Let's see if I can just bend this a little bit. We're gonna start, I'm gonna start on my right side. I'm gonna take my right wire this is my knotting wire, the really long one that's underneath the center. And I'm gonna cross it over the top of the two wires on the center. Then I'm gonna take my left side and I'm gonna go over the right, under the two center wires, and then through the loop that it made right here. And then just cinch that down. And that's one half of your square knot. So you're gonna do the same thing on the left side. You're gonna make your loop with the left side of the wire, go over the two middle center wires, take the right side wire, cross it on top, go under, and then pull that through the loop on the left side. And now you've got one full complete knot. And you'll see my knot is kind of down here and I want it up towards my button. So I can just slide that up so that it reaches to the top. And I always do that after I finish one complete knot. This way it's still nice and easy to slide. As you continue on, you're not gonna be able to push it up. So we're gonna do, let's see. Oh, Lynn says, put your spool under your wire to give a little, little space. So she's telling me to go like that. That looks like a neat little trick because I end up keep um, picking them up all the time. So I'm just gonna tuck that in there and see how that works. Thanks, Lynn. So I'm gonna make two more so that I've got three complete square knots at the top before I add a bead. So again, take my right side over the center left wire comes on top of that white that right knotting wire under the center through the loop and then pull that tight and then complete the knot by doing the same thing on the left side make your loop go over the top tuck it under and through the loop you made on the left so now we have two complete square knots I'm gonna make one more and then we can add a bead. And just know you can come back and watch this video anytime. Any of the presentations in the Great Bead Extravaganza will stay on the page and in the group indefinitely. So now that I've got my three knots, I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. See what's going on up there? Did you want to say something else, Sarah? Oh, just was just adding to it. It's fine. OK. <laughs> We're going fast, so I just want to make sure everyone knows there's other options. You know. Yeah, we do have to kind of get two people in that one hour where everyone else, you know, it kind of uh, makes us move a little bit more quickly. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to string up my bead and then create two more knots. And actually, you could even string all of your beads that you're going to use right now and then tuck it in. But just to save the little time, I'm just going to do the one. So after I have the bead strung, I strung it on both the wires. I pushed it up towards the knots that I had already made. And now I'm going to do two square knots. So same thing I did before. Make that loop, go over the center, 
go over the right side, under the center, and through the loop that you created. And then repeat on the left side. Over the hill and through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So, so we're going to... That's and then once you see how it can kind of once you get that knot going, you can really pick up your speed. And um, you're just going to do two knots between each bead for the rest of the way. And then I'm going to show you how to add the little spacers as well. How are you doing over there, Sarah? Uh, good. You can keep showing and I'll let you know when I'm ready to finish. Okay, cool. I'm I was thinking I was thinking I'll get up to um, my one little flower here and then you can swap and then I can just complete it out. But so far we're up to there. Sounds good. All right. So I'm going to string on one, two, three, four of these topaz beads. And I'm stringing them on the two wires from the bottom. Yeah, it is really easy. Um, Carmen is saying, thanks for answering questions. You're welcome. And Nancy says she's never done it before. You know, it's like a lot of things. It's, it's that one knot. And once you get it, you just keep repeating it. Mm-hmm. I remember this from like my friendship bracelet days way back when. <laughs> so it kind of all came rushing back to me when I started to learn it again with Softlex. I was like, oh yeah, I used to do these little friendship bracelets as a kid. <laughs> mm -hmm. So funny. That's where I started making jewelry, friendship bracelets. So nice. I had an old friend come see me at a bead store in Billings when I wrote a book. I did a book signing there. And she was like, I still have your friendship bracelet. What? <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Hey, this little spool trick is working out great. I love it. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then you can just slide up your bead. So if you string all your beads on, you just slide it into place when you're ready for it. I can't believe that. So many people say that to me because I've made so much jewelry over the years. Okay. Like, oh, I have this. And I'm kind of like, hey, can you send me a picture of it? Because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and when you send a picture, it's like visiting an old friend. You're yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I made that 20 years ago. It's amazing. I should revisit that. <laughs> right? It's crazy. Okay, I think I made a little snafu, which is good because I want to show you how easy it is to undo it. So I, I made a knot and I probably wasn't paying attention and went on the same side. And I know it's not right because of the way it's laying. It's sort of starting to spin. If you did a half knot, it would be a spiral. So if you see your um, knot starting to spin, you made a little snafu. And with Softflex, you can just kind of just back it back out and pull it back out super easily and then do it again. So now you might have a little bit of a little dent there, but you won't even notice it when you're done because it just gets knotted up again. And you're gonna do your flower, is that right? Or are we coming back to that? Yeah, I'm going to do my flower. It's actually next. So okay. just in I'm one more ready second. You're ready. Okay. Oh, I have one more. So let me do one more and then I'll go to you. So I've got four topaz and then our flower. And sometimes you'll see too, like the soft flex will kind of pop out a little bit. That's okay. You just kind of pull it, pull your tension. And then when you pull up that second one, it'll, it'll close back up. I 
I love this turquoise color too, Gerald says. I love this turquoise color. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's the one Candy was using this morning too, which didn't surprise me. It seems like a perfect color for her. Totally. All right, where did I put my little discs? They are around here somewhere. There they are. Okay. So now I want to add my flower. So what I'm going to do is add these beads to the side strands. And I'm going to do five and five of these little discs that we got here. I love these little discs. I think they're adorable. We picked out great colors. I love the colors. <laughs> I'm using the gold, like olive color in mine, and it's. Mm. I do love how it has like a little brassiness to it. I'm a big mm -hmm. brass fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then we have them in black, red, and then turquoise, which I used in my turquoise bracelet. So I've got five that I strung on the right side, and then you can just tuck your wire onto the side of your macrame board so you don't lose your beads when you're stringing to the other side. We have uh, posted the TGBE giveaway link. You will click that link and then it will ask you for your email. You're sharing your email with all of the presenters at the Great Beat Extravaganza. You're entering to win a prize package full of goodies from all of those same presenters. Um, I would gather it's probably like a several hundred dollar prize. We pick three winners. And so make sure you are entering to win. All oh, right. Posted so, now that, <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to um, just have our bead strung on those two knotting wires and then do the same thing we did before. We're just um, crossing over the center with the right, going with the left over and under, and then through that loop and then pulling it tight and then repeating it on the left side. And then your little discs just pop into place as a little flower accent around the topaz. And then I did just two knots, two square knots in between all of the beads. So I'm just gonna do one more and then you're done. For those of you that joined us later, Mike Sherman is one of the co-owners, founders, and inventors of Softlux Beading Wire. All Let's right. See, Kristen. So we'll stop there. Let me show you guys where I got to. And basically, if you look at the pattern here, you'll just do two more topaz, then a flower, two more topaz, then a flower, and then you'll end with four topaz and then three knots again, just like in the beginning. And now we'll switch it back to Sarah. All right, let me switch. Here we go, look, I got the whole thing. Oh, that looks so good. I kept going. I did four of those rondelles and the wire is passing through in each direction, just like the other beads all the way down to the bottom. I did another big fire polish and a small rondelle there. And now I passed all four wires through my two by two millimeter crimp tube. So the two tanzanite wires on each side and then the two white soft touch O and O wires all went through the crimp. And that's how I had intended to start it, but it works out fine this way too. So either way is okay. And, um, and then I took one of those tanzanite wires, I passed it through my toggle bar, and then back into the crimp tube in the opposite direction. And now I'm gonna crimp all of that down. I can actually take this off of the board at this point. And if you wanted to keep going, you could make this a double wrap bracelet. Um, you can do it with smaller beads, all, you know, just about anything that has a hole, you can you can figure out how to put it on one of these bracelets. Um, so I've got my magical crimping pliers. Again, you can find these on our website and I'm just gonna go in 
and compressed. I've got my little four corner ravioli that I'm gonna turn it on its side and compress. That makes kind of an oval shape. And then I just kind of go around and around a few times, tightening that all down till it's a nice little round ball and it's holding everything snugly together. Go in with my cutters and get real close into that crimp tube and trim off my extra wires. And I will tell you about how much of this wire I have left in the soft touch. They definitely went a little overboard, not much though. So I would, five feet was probably decent, um, depending on the size of your wrist and how long you're making your piece. And then I'm just gonna make sure all those are laying nice and straight, look good. There we go. And now I'm gonna add a little dangle. So to do this, I only have some 26 gauge craft wire here. Um, Softbox craft wire. Normally I would use a thicker gauge, but I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try um, for my little dangle. And so what I did was I took my craft wire. I have a bunch of silver, but not much gold here for some reason. And you wanna kind of straighten out your wire always when you get started, just pull it straight, trim a little piece off. And um, then I just gently, very gently, took it uh, left over right and just made kind of a light center knot in my craft wire. You do not want to yank on this. It will snap and break. So just very gently made a little knot and then I just folded my wires up so that the little knot looks like that. And now I'm going to add one of these sweet little purple melons. These also come in four colors. We have the purple, we have, I believe, red, and um, a, a really pretty white gold, and one other color. Oh, turquoise, right here. Okay, so I'm going to take both of these wires, string them through my little melon drop, and bring it down to the bottom. So you can see how that looks. And then I just went ahead and made a wire wrap loop with one of them. So I'm gonna come in just above it and wrap to um, what I usually say is I point it towards me. So I make a 90 degree angle. I wrap over the top away from me to make half a loop, move it to the side, come under finish my full loop and then I am going to wrap it around both of those wires. So I'm just going to hold on. You can also do this with chain nose pliers and do a wrap down to the bead. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to take the second wire that I just wrapped and I'm going to wrap that around just in kind of a messy wrap. So I get both of those wrapped and then I can just trim that off and tuck in the tail. So this I'm definitely gonna use my chain nose fire, just tucking those little tails. And then easy peasy, I'm gonna open up my jump ring. I've got this great feather from Tearcast. You can find those on the website. You could do any of those fun Tucson charms that we have, the cowboy hat, the cowboy boots, the cactus, throw that on there. And then I'm just gonna attach that right onto the loop with my ring toggle. So I'm just going to loop it inside of here and then close it up. You can use two jump rings to close, uh, um, excuse me, two chain nose pliers to close jump rings. I just, I use the ones here. Just kind of slide it back and forth until those two ends meet. And then you've got your little charm attached to your bracelet. And there it oh, is. Oh, it looks so good. Colors. Yeah, I, I love that. it. Love it. It's Yay. so cute. You're getting a lot of love for how you showed your head pins. 
Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, those are handy. So this soft touch comes in white, black, and satin silver. And I find that those colors work really well to intermix with the um, with the other colors. Maybe Kristen, while you finish up, I can go grab the samples that I've made in other variations. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, okay, so that's let's perfect. Go back to Kristen, and I will run and do that real fast. Cool. I know I saw a question um, on here from Jenny asking how long were my center wires. Uh, the, my center wire was two feet long and then I looped it through the button and centered that and then crimped it. So you've got 12 inches of each, but it's one long strand. All right, so I'm just down to my third flower. And oh my gosh, I forgot to put another I forgot to put another knot in there. So let me pull this out just a bit and slide that bead back down. I have one more knot to do. And a little tip for when you're trying to figure out what side you need to go with your knot is usually the wire that's coming underneath the little loop here is the side you need to start with. So I'm starting on the right and then I'll move. And as you see, you've got that little loop there and you have the wire coming out from it. So now I move to the left. <laughs> Pamage says, Kristen, this is a Calypso bracelet. It totally is. So I have to do one more flyer here. I'm starting to get a little bit like I'm sweating to try and get to the end of the race. <laughs> Why don't we flip back over here and you feed your little heart out? <laughs> We're okay. having a bracelet race. We are having a bracelet race. It's like that. Remember that super shopper show where you would have to like run through? <laughs> How fast can they do it? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have to That's change my awesome. shirt. <laughs> While Kristen's working on that, let me show you a couple of other variations that I've made. Um, here's a nice one using white on white. And these were some uh, rhodonite beads that we had. So they're little gemstones. The 010 is so thin, it can fit through some pretty small holes. So you can even do it with a gemstone. You can double or triple this like Kate did in her big wrap bracelet. You can make a super long one if you prefer. And here is a wrap bracelet. This one's done with just a seed bead. Lovely. I didn't get to see Kate's finished bracelet, so I'm excited Ooh, to so take pretty. a look at that later. Here's black on black. This one I used multiple beads. So it's got some half tilas and seed beads, some little metal spacer beads and then full tilas. And you can see it doesn't have to be all the same exact size. In fact, it's sometimes kind of fun if each section, you know, can go in and out. It gives it just like a little bit of an interesting look. Yeah, I like when there's a little variation. And then um, similar to what Kate did, you know, you can do different sections. I think you've done that, mm -hmm. that with your black one, right? Yeah, I wear this one like constantly. It's one of my favorite bracelets. Um, on this one, I did different sections. So I did a nice long section of um, seed beads and spacer beads and big black crystals. And then I changed it up and I did some half tilas. And then I changed it a third time with some full uh, black tilas. So awesome. So piece that I wrap and wear regularly so that's the black soft touch and the black soft flex together um so you can intermix the colors i like the white when i'm using a color i think it's really nice how it blends in with the colors and then you can still see that color um it doesn't it's not really obtr obtrusive i guess right because the black is going to give you a bit more of a contrast so if you like something to be a little more 
high contrast, you might like the black, but yeah. And just holler when you're ready to hop back over, Kristen, because I've got a bunch of stuff I can show. Yeah, I probably think another another minute or two. So I'll just give you a holler. We short stranded some gemstones on the website to match our new Berry Perry duo. There are some new amethyst beads. Um, some of them are already selling out. I think this one sold out, but I'm going to put this one back in the shop next week if you want to keep an eye out for it. We short stranded some tanzanite. Kind of hard to find. This isn't a stone that is is really um, easy to find anymore. So we have some little short strands. I think we have some like five bead strands as well as this two bead strand um, if it's not sold out. So take a look for that on the website. We're going to be doing more and more of that to make things affordable and easy to grab. Um, but we have some good stuff there. We have a nice mix that goes with the uh, with the duo as well. And then we short stranded some Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Oh, I bought some of this, you guys. I couldn't handle it because I love Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And when I saw it up, I was like, oh my gosh, I Here's gotta the grab three some. other colors in those <laughs> melon beads. So we're doing a great deal right now. Spend, what is it, $49, Kristen? Get Yes, $49, you get $10 off, $69, you get $15 off, and $99, you get $20 off. You no coupon needed. Um, it is doesn't apply with other discounts, except for like sale and close out, those are fine. Um, and then if you get to over $65 in the US, you'll have the option for free shipping. Here is the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I think one of these already sold out. You guys were shopping early on the website. I was really surprised. I thought these would be available through the weekend, um, but I think one of them sold out, if not both. But I'll yeah. see if we have more. And then there are these little rondelles that you can buy in singles, and then or you can buy two to get a pair that are super sweet. And this again is a really uh, hard to find stone um, at this point because the mine is no longer operating. So, yeah, I'm actually wearing some right now. Um, okay, I'm ready for you to pop back over to me for me to finish, show you how to end this bracelet. Awesome, because I could talk forever. Let me show one more thing. Okay. <laughs> green turquoise. It's so pretty, you guys. It's in the shop. It's not getting a lot of love because I don't think people realize how beautiful it is. It's, it's a really, really deep, rich green. Really it's very pretty. It's like an emerald green but it's turquoise. It's really pretty. Check that out too. Okay, back to Kristen. All right. So just to give you, this is some Sleeping Beauty turquoise that I bought Ooh. the Softlex Company booth many years ago. I absolutely love That's it. Pretty. I think I made it back when we used to be at the Best Bead show. Um, and I did that show. I think it was the first year that I was there with you guys. And then I'm also wearing this gorgeous bracelet I made um, just last week with one of Cynthia's heart beads here. It says protect on the other side and has a little eye. So that's from Cynthia Thornton of Green Girl Studios. And you can find that, I think, on her Etsy shop. Um, and also these little daggers are in our shop that are so stinking cute. I think Kim said that this would be great with daggers or pips, and it totally would. You could do this design really great with that too. All right, so I'm all done. I've got my whole pattern finished. How do we end this and attach this to our clasp? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using three of our two by two millimeter soft flex crimp tubes to create this little ending here. You're gonna take each side and just split it in half just like that so i'll have one center and one knotting and one center and one knotting on the other side and i'm going to string down these crimp tubes just like so and the reason i do this is because two by two millimeter crimp tubes will fit up to three strands of beading wire and we have four strands here and then once we go and try and go back into our crimp that would make another strand so this is sort of a little workaround i do and um 
or you can use a larger crimp if you didn't want that. But I kind of like when I'm using the same size on each side. So this is sort of what I've come up with. I'm gonna take this off my macrame board and I'm just gonna crimp these closed. crimp on one side and these little you know magical crimpers are great for this because they have a very finished feel I just want to get that sucker right in the center that's one of the things with this tool is you can really tell you can feel if it's not in the center once you practice with it quite a bit mm-hmm mm-hmm and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two of these wires free. And I'll actually cut my longer ones because they'll be a little bit longer length for me to hold on to and maybe make an earring with or a little jump ring with or something like that. So now that I've cut those free, I've just got two wires left that I have to wrangle. I'm going to take a crimp tube and place it down both of those wires. So now you've got this little triangle that it created. And then you're going to want to take one of these strands back down through your crimp. And this is going to go around your button. And if you wanted to, you can also add some seed beads or small beads around your loop here for your connection, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it since I'm just working with what came in the kit. You want to make sure this fits inside your button before you close it. I feel like Jamie Yoshida had a really great tip for that, and I'm I can't remember what it was now, but really I just kind of want to get my button in there. Even the short side. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it gets in the short side. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and crimp that closed. And now you can trim off your excess wires. And I'm not going to have time to add in my little charms, but I'll show it to you on the demo bracelet. And then you Yay! can just get that right in there. Oh, oh my gosh, for a second, I was like, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to just finish this off so it's not being done. <laughs> yeah, we're officially at time. So I know. A great job. Just made it. I came in that, that home stretch. But yeah. this is where I like to add the little dangles is just right in that little space between the crimp and the last knot. And it also kind of camouflages this little... Um, triangle spot so you can just add your jump ring and add your little dangles that would kind of slide in right in there and these are two other ones I've done where I did beat up around to do the clasp and it's the same this one actually uses daggers it's the same pattern just different beads and we have a fantastic dagger bundle on our website with mini baby daggers that and then here's another one as well so same thing same pattern just different beads cool. super fun we did it i can't believe we made it <laughs> okay i'm gonna go all screens all screens yay it. Yes, thank you guys for being here. A couple of things I want to tell you. We have a live sale happening on Tuesday. It is from Mike Sherman's private collection, which means it's going to have a lot of super unique, very special items. We'll have about 250 items. You can find it on the Softlex Company Facebook page at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Don't forget our fantastic deals on the website. You can get 10% off of your duo um, as an introductory price. We have got uh, discounts depending on how much you spend. The more you spend, the more discount you get. Free shipping on orders over $65. You can find all of that at softlexcompany.com, including a lot of the beads 
and craft wire and soft lick speeding wire. And of course that fantastic supernova kit, which we will be opening up on Wednesday. And then the following Wednesday, we'll have Abby Berta with us opening it and making her own design using this kit. And she put a special little doodad in here. So Yay. we're excited about that. So lots of love for all of you out there. And I hope you enjoy this wonderful weekend. We are just so honored to be here with all of you and all of these fabulous presenters. Um, it's just, it's a great time. And I apologize if I miss anyone's comment. I was like really trying to, to run through that uh, project. <laughs> You can always go back and pause it and rewatch it. It's hard to make it with us, I think, in this particular case because we're going so fast. Um, but you can always watch it later. It'll be on replay. And then one last thing, we are on TikTok and Instagram, and I do reels there that are unique to those two sites frequently. After this video, I will post a picture or a, a reel, a short video, a 60 second video, talk about speed beating, of a pair of earrings to match the bracelets that I made today. So make sure you look up Softlux Company on TikTok and on Instagram. Follow us there. Don't forget the Great Beat Extravaganza giveaway. It's in the featured section of the group. And that's it, right? That's it. Now we have the fabulous, mind-blowing, wonderful designer, Neelay Patel. <laughs> Neelay Patel is following so us. So and look he's for got next. You're yeah. on, Nilay. <laughs> You're on. Oh, you've got a great new product. I can't wait to see what he shares with us. All it's right, everybody. Great. Have a All great right, rest everybody. of your weekend. Bye from Softflex Company. You know where to find us.